So you're ready to build your custom home and you're calling builders and you're asking questions about cost per square foot and trying to find out what it's going to cost to build. Make sure you're asking these questions to help you realize apples to apples and find out what the true cost will be. So you're looking to build your custom home. You've been talking to builders and you've been trying to find out how much is it going to cost to build our home? How much is it per square foot? And you're really probably going through this whole maze. Well, let me just share some of the things to make sure that you understand when you're talking to builders. First, when you start talking about cost per square foot, most of the time custom home builders, it's going to vary. Here at Red Tree, we vary at times uh, over $100 per square foot. So here's a few things to keep in mind when you're talking to builders about cost per square foot. First of all, is that heated square footage or total square footage? One of the things that we see is the heated square footage. And typically that means it's heated, cooled, um, it's drywalled, it's finished. I think most of the time the public's thought is that's a finished room. Now, we could be building a 2,000 square foot finished house and my cost be $400 square foot. I could still have 1,500 square feet of unfinished space in the basement that isn't part of that number. If I include that, it sounds a lot better cost per square foot. So make sure that you understand when you're talking to somebody at the preliminary, what's that going to be? Also, one other thing is the total square footage. Here in Nashville, we have at times over a thousand square feet of deck. We could have a two or three car garage. And while garages typically are fairly inexpensive, they can be on engineered foundations. These decks that we're building is just as elaborate as indoor finished spaces. But if I say, hey, it's a total of 6,000 square feet, I can give you a better number. It sounds better in the preliminary stages. So make sure that you under qualify what is this cost per square foot? What is cost per square foot? Like the one thing that I like to think here at Red Tree and that I share with people is you're not really going to be building a house per square foot because you can't take just 50 square feet off of a bedroom and that equal $350 a square foot of that times 50. It doesn't, it doesn't really work that way. Now, if you're looking at doing more of a production, it's straightforward. Here's the house and here's that. That can play a little bit more of a role. But when we're still talking about custom home building, there's so many more components to go into it. Landscaping. What is that? Is that also including landscaping or is that a separate line item? Sometimes I've heard of that clearing and site prep could be different than the cost per square foot to build the house. Now, I know that it could build this to build the house and then, but I also know that we need landscaping. I need a driveway. I also need to clear and prep the lot. Those are kind of unknowns, but I have a general idea of what, what most of the time we spend. So truly, I think most of the time people are asking that question, they're asking for it combined. So again, make sure you know what's included and not included when you're having preliminary talks. Anybody can sound good being a lot cheaper. There's probably a reason if you're talking to builders and there's a big discrepancy. Now it could be the fit and finish that builders are looking to do, but it could also be just the amount of how they're doing what I just talked about. The square footage, the total square footage, what's included and not included. And again, don't forget about soft cost and that being permits, builder's risk, the insurance, um, everything that kind of goes into all that. So again, how much is it gonna to cost to build your house? Right now we don't know, but we do have a good general idea. But the quicker you get from the cost per square foot conversation to truly a dollar amount, the better you're gonna be as a consumer because truly you're gonna be building a house out of dollars and cents. And that really, let's talk about total budget because when we start talking about landscaping, adding solar, um, other things, an elevator, things that really have nothing to do. It could be a sauna. I am just throwing wild stuff out there. It could be a hidden room. Those kind of just super customized things really don't play into the world per square foot. So remember that, hopefully that is helpful. And look for more videos of just trying to take the mystery out of custom home building and trying to, to let you know as a consumer, here's a little bit of what we've learned in the 16 years of building houses we have. So hopefully you found that video to be helpful. Make sure you subscribe. We release videos weekly talking about 
custom home building. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed day.